Vargas says she never pays retail price for anything. She is the co-founder of the crazycouponlady.com. It's the go-to site for saving money uh, with all kinds of money-saving tips with over 2 million visitors. Is that every month? Yeah. Wow. And she's also the co-author of this book, uh, Pick Another Checkout Lane, Honey. <laughs> Here to teach us great money-saving tricks of the trade, please welcome Joni Diemer. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you very, very nice. Thank you for being here. So, Joni, um, you know, my paper comes in, uh, I, I get three papers in the morning. Now, uh, and I'm a little bit old-fashioned because a lot of my friends don't get any papers. So if well, you, you get... have to get the papers. That's where the coupons are. I know, but what if you don't get the papers? Can well, you get them online? Well, the coupons, you need to subscribe to the Sunday paper, and I actually suggest oh, okay. subscribing to multiple copies so you're already right on track. Okay, all right. So you get your newspaper, uh, and then I have to rush to get them all out of the newspaper before my housekeeper gets her hands on the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't blame her, but, you know, I don't want anyone taking your coupons because I'm sure you're going to use them because um, every savvy shopper should be. Right, okay. And how much, how much do you spend on your groceries? You know, I spend about $150 a month on all of the food and toiletries in my home. And the way that works out, is I actually am spending next to nothing on toiletries, so all of that money goes to my fresh food, ah. my meat, my produce, and that's everything for my family, myself, my husband, and my two kids. Wow. And then we actually, I think, have a photo of my kids, the little protégés, oh, crazy they coupon are. kids in training. <laughs> And so they like it, and it teaches them mathematics, doesn't it? Oh, they love. They it love every bit of it. Teaches them fractions and multiplication. Well, well, yeah, my son's in kindergarten. We're not quite there yet, but someday we'll get there. So but let's the, hear some of your great tips. Yes. Okay. Well, the first tip I've got for you doesn't even involve using a coupon, if you can believe it. It's actually about price matching. There okay. are so many stores now that are willing to match or even beat their competitor prices. So here's an example of how we price match on this lovely vinyl cushion toilet seat that every Every household needs. Okay. Regular price at Home Depot was thirty-seven eighty-six, but I found it at another local hardware store for only fifteen nineteen. So that's a great oh. savings. But Home Depot will not only match that price; they'll actually beat it by ten percent, saving me an extra dollar fifty-two. So I end up only spending thirteen sixty-seven. So now we've learned how to comparison shop, look for the lowest price. Yep. What's the next tip? Must be. The next tip is about stacking coupons. Most people assume that using two coupons on a product or even in a transaction is not allowed. And that's because of the confusing verbiage on the coupons that say limit one per purchase. And you can see how that would be confusing. But all that really means is that you can use one coupon on every item that you've purchased. So if you're purchasing five items, you can use five coupons. Oh. But it gets even better. When but five of one thing? Do I need five Britas? Yep. If you had five Brita pictures, you could use five Brita coupons that each are worth $4 off of one. Yeah. But it gets even better because we were able to stack coupons. Now that means we stacked a manufacturer coupon with the store coupon and here's how it worked out. The Brita pitcher regularly sells for $36.99, but the first thing we're going to do is wait for a sale price. So once I see a sale price, $29.69, I say, okay, now's the time to use my coupons. So I start out by using the $4 manufacturer coupon, but I also found a store coupon that I was able to print from Target.com. So I can use both of them together to save me $9 on this one picture, which means I'm only paying $20.69 a 44% savings. Wow. Yeah. Very good. That's very good. All right. And, and, you, and, you and know, I'm sure you have some other savings up your sleeves. <laughs> I do. I have a whole binder full oh. of savings. This so, is where I keep my coupons. Oh. Because when you have as many coupons as the crazy coupon lady, you have to have So a, do you go to the store with this? Oh, I totally go to the store with oh, this. Oh, you do? You carry this around with you? This rides in my shopping oh, cart my and my kids gosh. have to walk. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, but, but I mean, there are things here that you don't want to buy, right? Yep, absolutely. I but will I, not mention those things. <laughs> <laughs> but couponing isn't about what I buy. You buy the things that you are going to use. You don't buy anything that I buy. You buy things that your family loves. I want the $1,000 coupon. <laughs> Is there one well, of maybe those? all total <laughs> together, they might be worth that. And one, another tip, you know, Jim mentioned Bed Bath and Beyond and the coupon that yeah, you use. Yeah, and look, look at what you have but now, here. But now, I wouldn't go up against Jim when it comes to investments, but coupons. Let me. I can t teach Jim something okay. because Bed Bath and Beyond actually will accept your expired coupons. So even though they oh. mail them to you every two weeks, keep that stack, and you can oh. actually shop with the entire stack. So here we have a five dollars off. 
expires 1 2 12 so it's expired So that one's expired but we could take that today and use it okay are they going to be happy with us telling everybody that I think that they're gonna be fine you know manufacturer coupons you cannot use once they're expired but a store coupon it's always okay to ask 20 percent off five percent after you take the five percent off you can then get another 20 well you can use multiple of the five dollar off together you can't okay. stack the 20 percent and the five dollar you can't Mm -mm. Oh, you know that? Not usually. You you can ask because it's a store discount. You can always ask. Here's a 20% off. <laughs> they're all 20%, Martha. Oh, my okay. gosh. They're a very big deal. Here's okay. my next tip, okay? It's about stockpiling, which I know can seem a little bit crazy, but stockpiling really means that when you find a great deal on a product, buy more than one. It just makes sense. A stockpile, by definition, is something in between, like, a full pantry and a hoarder's bunker. I mean, I've got a picture of, <laughs> I've got a picture of my stockpile. You can Look. see it's nicely organized. Yeah. And those are products that, that my family uses. You would never uses. say that's a hoarder's bunker. Well, thank you, Martha. Never. <laughs> that, looks, that sort of looks like my pantry. I mean, I don't, I, I don't like shopping that much. Right. So when I do find a good deal, I do the same thing. Well, that's good. I'm glad it's acceptable. <laughs> well, my favorite things to stockpile are the ones that staples. don't perish. Right. Yes, the staples, cooking staples and things that don't perish. I swear, even after years of crazy couponing, when detergent goes on sale, I still get butterflies of excitement. Something about paying 10 bucks to do See? a couple dozen loads so of laundry. So you're not alone, you guys <laughs> out there, you couponers. You, uh, it feels good to get does. a deal. It does. Well, coupons aren't just for the grocery store. They're actually great to use online as well. Um, it, it wants, if you're shopping at Macy's.com, for example, uh, before you check out, you can go to a great website called RetailMeNot.com. And this is a site that collects discount codes. And I found a coupon worth $10 off $75 Ooh. purchase. Ooh. Took me less than two minutes. It was the easiest 10 bucks I've ever saved. Now, another tip. With, with the, the world really trending away from paper. It's no surprise that coupons are kind of going digital as right, well. Right. Um, so some of my favorite apps from retailers are the craft stores. Joann's and Michael's each have a free app and you can get coupons. Okay, so how much can I save on my glitter? So your lovely glitter retails for $29.99, right. but I used this 40% off coupon from 40 Michael's off? and paid only $17.99. Martha, uh, I couldn't pay retail for it. I just couldn't no. do it. Well, that's pretty fabulous. So that's yours. Okay, my last tip for you. I'm an avid online shopper, but I hate to pay shipping. Right. There are actually websites now that for an annual membership will earn you free shipping for an entire year. Like? One of those sites is shoprunner.com. They contract with merchants and give you free two-day shipping and free returns for an entire year. Two-day shipping, so that means you have to order today or tomorrow. Well, yeah, order today, and it comes in two days. Oh, two days. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And free returns okay. on everything. And for someone who returns as much as I do, it's music to my indecisive uh -huh. ears. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Well, this is very fun, and shoprunner.com is giving everyone in our studio audience a free one-year membership. So get you into Joni's camp over here. And thanks to the crazy coupon lady, you're all taking home a copy of... Pick another checkout lane, honey. <laughs> we'll be right back.